Hello everyone, welcome back to Let Us Read Podcast with your host Jawara, where we talk about life, we talk about anything and give everyone a fair chance to express their opinions without being vulgar, disrespectful or hostile. You know, I don't know everything, you do not know everything, but we all can learn from each other by sharing our experiences and our opinions. You know, and today I'm inviting everyone to be a part of this discussion by sharing in the comments. You know, about two months ago, I did a podcast talking about mental illness. And today I want to do a follow up on that topic. But today I want to single out one diagnosis of mental illness or one aspect of mental illness, which is schizophrenia. As I previously noted, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychiatrist. I've never go to no school to receive no training where psychiatric is concerned and how to deal with mental illness. But that don't stop me from talking about it because I am living in this world with a lot of people who is dealing with mental illness and who lives are being destroyed because of mental illness. To be frank with you, I never really used to think about mental illness that much. I know of it. I'm aware of it because I've seen a lot of people who got thrown down by it from I was a child until now. In Jamaica, we call those people madman or madwoman. Until I was confronted with mental illness, specifically schizophrenia, until it come right on my doorstep, right on my doorstep. Not me specifically who was attacked by schizophrenia, but people who I love and close to. So it put me on a path to really um, research this disease schizophrenia, you know, to know the early signs and symptoms and warnings so that if I see those early signs of symptoms and warning, I can attack it right there and then. When I think about that, I think about a cane feel. If you see smoke coming, that means some fire is being lit. And if you find the root or the source of that smoke and out it, then you save your can feel it won't get burned down. Same with any sickness, any disease, early detection is always a good option. Because with most disease and illness, if we detect it early, the chances of us surviving it is much higher than if we detect it late. You know, so I'm on a journey trying to understand schizophrenia, specifically schizophrenia, you know, because it's a very deadly and lethal disease for both those who is diagnosed with it and the people that surround them. But what is schizophrenia though? Based on what I research and find, it said it's a long-term mental disorder of a type involving a breakdown in relation between thoughts, emotions, and behavior leading to faulty perception, inappropriate actions and feelings, 
withdrawal from reality and personal relationships into fantasy, fantasy and delusion and a sense of mental fragmentation. So in general use, a mentality or approach characterized by a consistent or contradictory element. That's what they said schizophrenia is. And I'm, I really feel it, my heart really goes out to those individuals who have been diagnosed with schizophrenia. And if you are a person who really pay attention to your family and see signs, early signs and warning and symptoms of schizophrenia, it's like a taboo to everyone really. No one wants to hear that they are challenged mentally or they're going crazy or they're losing their mind. No one wants to hear that. So if you, as a person, who pay attention and observe and see those findings, early signs and symptoms in your loved one and tell them maybe they don't even believe because one of the things with a person is schizophrenic. They don't see nothing wrong with them. They don't believe something is wrong with them mentally. So even if you try to get them professional help, they will reject it. But I'm going to press this this evening. Please. I'm begging you, please. If you see early signs and symptoms, warning signs, that you have a loved one who is probably schizophrenic. Please get that person help as soon as possible. It can mean life and death. Trust me. But what are some of the signs and symptoms that people may show who maybe is suffering from schizophrenia? In my research, I found it said social isolation, disorganized behavior, aggression, agitation, compulsive behavior, hostility, repetitive movement, self harm, or lack of restraint, thought disorder, delusion, amnesia, believe that an ordinary event has special and personal meaning. Believe that thoughts aren't one owns disorientation, mental confusion, slowness in activity, or false belief of superiority mood, anger, anxiety, feeling detached from self, general discontent, loss, loss of interest or pleasure in activities, elevated mood or inappropriate emotional response people who suffer from schizophrenia these are some of the early warning signs that you have to look out for i'm going to stress it again viewers listeners play, pay close keen attention to your loved ones. If you see any be any change in their mood and behavior, pay close attention. Because they may be developing schizophrenia and you don't know. And as I said earlier, if you catch it when it's early, you have a better chance of dealing with the disease. One one might ask what causes schizophrenia? And that's a question that I have just like everybody else. And it's like a lifelong study really trying to find the root and cause of this disease. And what I have found when I was researching, it said the exact cause of schizophrenia are unknown. Research suggests a combination of physical, genetic, psychological 
and environmental factors can make a person more likely to develop the condition. Some people may be prone to schizophrenia and stressful or emotional life event might trigger a psychotic episode. So what they're saying, it can be genetic. Um, when a person is on a heavy stress, it can trigger schizophrenia. A study also shows that if you are a strong drugs user, like smoke a lot of marijuana, it might affect some people and it might not affect some. So they cannot pinpoint one specific cause of the disease but what they study is that it can come from different different source either genetics or stress or tra trauma or drugs i personally know of individuals they were perfect living their perfect happy life I know of this young lady, personally. Her dad got ill. And they thought it was the flu. And within that same week, her dad died. They find out it was leptospirosis. And she was perfectly fine before her dad died. And from her dad pass, she become schizophrenic. She become schizophrenic. So that is one of the things that can trigger off a schizophrenic mind. I personally come across that more than once. Saw persons who was fine until an episode like that happened, a sudden episode that just pull the trigger and that person become schizophrenic. So the question is, can a person who is schizophrenic live a normal life like a person who is not schizophrenic? I don't know, maybe. Based on the research that I did, it said it is possible for individuals with schizophrenia to live a normal life, but only with good treatment, residential care allows for a focus on treatment in a safe place. So what they're saying, if a person receives treatment for schizophrenia, and stay under treatment. Well, the symptoms that come with that sickness can go away. But the thing is, like many other illness, take for example, you have an infection and you go to the doctor, the doctor prescribe antibiotic and the doctor said take one or two of these, one Per day for 10 days maybe when it reach the fifth day of you taking that antibiotic all that infection gone and you feel like a champ again so you stop there's a reason why the doctor said take it for 10 days you might feel better and the infection might go away but guess what the possibility of that infection coming back is going to come back so the doctor give you 10 days to kill the root from where that infection is coming from. The same thing with schizophrenia, treatment and medication. You might take it and you feel, oh my, I don't, I'm not hearing voices no more. I'm not being delusional no more. I'm not seeing stuff that is not real no more. So you stop taking the medication. When you stop taking it, then, the, then everything become worse. I know this for a fact because I've lived to see this kind of stuff happen. So a person who is schizophrenic 
need to be on their treatment, medical and therapeutic treatment. Because based on my research, there is no cure for the disease. No cure for schizophrenic. But there are treatment that can help an individual to live and go through in life. But you have to be on your treatment. Therapeutic and medicine. And also support from those who really love you the most. But when a person is schizophrenic, not taking their medication and doing drugs, then they push you over the edge. My heart break for people who is like that, who is not in total control of their mind, their thoughts and behaviors, who are hearing things that is not real, who is seeing things that is not real, who is confused about the person who love them and care about them the most, they see those person as enemy. My heart break for people like those who end up destroy, kill, murder their own family because of that mindset, that schizophrenic mindset. It's a sad thing to know that you're not in control of your own thoughts and action. You cannot control it. It's a crazy thing. Mental illness is no joke. And it's a crazy stigma. That come with mental illness. A person will share the company with a person who have HIV AIDS. The same room. Because you can't catch AIDS by being in the same room with the person. It's a blood to blood thing. It's body fluid thing. A person will share the room with that person. But a mentally ill person who is mentally deranged, no. I strongly believe when a person is diagnosed with schizophrenia, that person should be held at a mental institute where they can get help, real help. And when they come out from that institute, those treatments should be continued. But it crazy because the person who is schizophrenic some of the time they take they, they don't want to take the medication they don't want the treatment every drugs come with side effects we all know that but I, I would rather to know that I'm taking a drug and it helped me to be focused and in my right mind and I gain some weight by taking it, more than not taking it. There's so many people can relate with what I'm talking about because they are family members and friends who was living a happy and normal life. And then they lose their mind. Something trigger off schizophrenia in their head and they lose their mind. So I'm going to stress it again viewers schizophrenia is no joke it's a deadly disease people talk about cancer hiv aids yes all of those diseases are deadly schizophrenia is deadly too when a person have aids or have cancer that person is still thinking straight. When a person has schizophrenia, that person is not thinking straight, not thinking like themselves. They have a deluded mind. 
pure delusion, hearing voices, seeing stuff that is not real. Lack of trust for the person who don't mean them no harm. The kids of friendly mind telling that, telling them that the person who love them the most is out to get them. And as a result, that whole situation become deadly. Please, I'm begging you, if you can study up on this disease, if you can research it, research it. Look for the early signs and symptoms. Catch it before it's too late. You have a better chance of dealing with this disease. Thanks for being a part of this podcast. Let me know your views. Take care until I see you again. Alright? And remember our motto. Love life. Live free. Don't take nothing for granted. Live your own truth. Alright? Later. <laughs>